Hey YouTube, I have a pretty quick one for you today and I want to show you how you could enhance the Webflow's default uh, form that comes out of their component uh, library and uh, I have a use case here um, with a real estate website and let's say the visitor of this website um, looks at this property on this page and they want more information about it and using the default webflow form uh, it's kind of limited when the notification comes to the owner of this website so let me show you that really quick what I mean so let's say um, I fill out the form really quick I'm just gonna put in the email and the message would be more like um, I want more information about this property and let's send. Okay, now the message is sent. So let me show you the problem on the other end. So I'm going to the Gmail and in this case would be the owner of the website uh, receives this form. Great. Somebody is interested in some object uh, on the website of the listing and we got the name, email, telephone number and message about I want more info about this property but as you know the user will not give exactly um, the address and which object it is so uh, how can we uh, the owner of this website know exactly which property is the user interested in so from uh, exactly which page is this form submission coming from I'm going to show you how to do that with a very small uh, custom snippet of code. Now let's talk about the solution. In the Webflow Designer, um, as you can see, I added a form block, which you could grab it from right here. In the form, I will add in a HTML embed component, like so, and I will copy and paste a code snippet so you don't have to watch me type so this these two uh, input fields are hidden as you can see so that means uh, it will not display on the front end on the web page and this is only for the email notification for the website owner to receive information so let me just save this for now you'll see what I mean uh, when I show you the email but I need to know the slug value so let me go to the objects this is where all of the posts of the listing is living in and I just go right here and I just highlight this guy and that'll be my path to the slug of this particular post okay all right so let's get out of here Go back to the form. Uh, I'm going to move my HTML embed right above the grid and reopen up the, the editor value here. I want to put in a dynamic field, put in a name. And what this is pulling in is from the dynamic field, the name of this post, or I should say the title of the post it will be living here. And uh, we want to paste uh, in the URL path, uh, HTTPS slash slash, like so, and again, put in the dynamic field, put in the slug. And as you saw in the back end, the slug post will dynamically be positioned right at the end of this path. And I'll show you ex uh, shortly exactly what I mean by that. And let me publish it. Great. And let's go to the front end. Let's refresh again and fill out the form again. Okay, let's send the form. Great, it's been sent. So now let's go to the uh, website owner's perspective so they got the email from webflow's form so now you can see this is from 
object name and dynamically pulled in the name of the post and object link, uh, the exact link to the post. So uh, when the owner clicks on that link, it takes you right to the page where the user had filled out the form. You know exactly what this user is uh, interested in. So a website owner could uh, make the sale possibly to follow up with the potential uh, customer. Yeah, so I hope uh, that was helpful and um, this could be useful for you. And I hope to see you again in the future videos. Thank you very much and have a good day.